This video is brought to you by Sayaride. In this video, Matt Grant will be demonstrating the Alterfeed collapsible sewing table. Hi, I'm Matt Grant, and beside me here I have Sailrite's new Alterfeed collapsible sewing table. This table is a fantastic table for our, our uh, craft and uh, marine customers because it is fairly light at about 30 pounds and it is just over four inches thick when it's collapsed. Uh, it is based off of a Gidget 2 sewing table from Aero Cabinets, but Sailrite has had them modified specifically for our machines. And the modifications are that we have a cutout that is perfectly appropriate for the black uh, deluxe carrying case that the Sailrite Ultrafeed sewing machines come in. And we've also set the depth of the cutout so that it's perfect for our machines. And uh, we have had uh, aero cabinets reinforce the table shelf so that it's strong enough to handle the weight of the Ultrafeed sewing machine. So what I'm going to do now is basically when you get this table, it comes fully assembled. So you pull it out of the box um, and discard the packaging. Make sure that there's no damage to the table from shipping. And assuming everything looks great, you're going to lay it on a surface or a piece of cardboard or carpeting, something that protects the top of the table. And the next thing we need to do is simply release the Velcro strap that holds the legs. And now our legs will pivot up. Let's get that strap back on there. Pivot up and then we can just push the leg supports into the plastic holders. And you want to kick on those or hit them hard to make sure they're locked in. We're going to do the same thing over here. You'll hear it click when it locks in. Make sure those are good and sturdy. Now, while we're looking at the underside of the table, I want to point out how the, the table um, top shelf functions. You'll notice that we have chains that are connected to the shelf uh, and then there is a, 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 a bolt structure with a thumb nut. We have the chain adjusted so that it is the right length and you will just need to fine tune by turning the thumb nut in order to set the depth of the shelf properly for the machine. It just so happens that that depth should be set at three and a half inches. So if you want to just use a, a, a yardstick in order to set the depth before you even set the machine in it, uh, that's probably the easiest thing to do. We do leave extra chain and you can adjust the length of the chain with the bolts that attach to the shelf uh, if you have any reason to do so. Uh, so the shelf is fully adjustable. That's really all there is to it on the underside. Next we're going to flip the machine right or the table right side up and we'll show you how it works. All right so we have a nice handy table when the shelf is up, you could use this table as a sideboard, a serving table, um, working on other types of craft products. It really has multiple uses. But our primary purpose for the table is to put your sewing machine in it so that you have a great working tabletop. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna show you how to lower the shelf. All we need to do to prepare to put the machine in the tabletop is lower the shelf. And you don't want to put the machine on first and then lower the shelf. The machine should be placed after the shelf is lowered. Now just grab this handle, push it down, let it hang, and then apply some pressure to the shelf. And at this point, this is where I was saying if you had a, a yardstick, you could measure to make sure that the shelf is three and a half inches below the tabletop, which is perfect positioning for the ultra feed. To raise the shelf, if you don't need the machine in there any longer, you just pull this lever and until it clicks into place and hits the underside of the table, and that will give you a smooth tabletop again. Our Ultrafeed LSD1 machine is uh, here and we're ready to put it in the tabletop. I want to point out a few things. First thing is, you don't want the case top on when you drop it in the table. Second thing is, you need to make sure that your, your case latches are down. So I'm going to make sure that's on both sides. Next thing is I want to lock the pivot uh, to hold the base bottom to the machine because when I pick this up and put it in the tabletop, I need to pick it up from under the arm of the machine. So I will pick it up and then I will carefully lower it down into the cutout and center it. That's all there is to it.
And once we're done sewing with the machine, we simply will remove the machine from the tabletop, but don't forget you've got to put your latch back on if you've removed it. Now we have some nice rollers on one end of the table and we simply lift the table, put it on the rollers and uh, you can easily move it around this way or slide it under a sofa, bed, bunk on a boat, wherever it's possible. The Alterfeed collapsible sewing table is exclusively made for the Sayerite Alterfeed line of sewing machines in the deluxe carrying case. Order yours today.